My name is Mrs. Evelyn Kufo of OPIC Beauty Forum at Usu, and I'm on x -Lite. OPIC Beauty started in the mid-80s. Um, I grew up in a beauty family. My father was a beautician and my mother was also a beautician. So as I was growing up, uh, I took the interest in beauty. When I finished school, uh, I went abroad and I, I did little courses in the, the beauty uh, industry. However, when I came back, after having my children abroad, I came back, I realized that there were so many salons doing every, uh, the same thing, hair, money here, petty here, whatever. So I decided that look, instead of also setting up just a, a, um, a beauty place like everybody else, I'm just gonna zone in and just concentrate on one thing, which was the nails. So basically, OPIC was the very first, and I'm telling you today, OPIC was the very, very first nail shop in the whole of Ghana. There was no such place that was doing nails. Acrylics, fiberglass, silk wrap, OPIC. So people who know me are, the, of course, senior citizens and uh, people from the 40 years and above. And I'm very happy to say that at, on th at those days, I was training a lot of people. People came from Togo, Nigeria, and all the other sub, you know, to, for me to train them. It was a big thing then, until uh, I think late uh, 90s, it took over by everybody. Of course, I was doing a lot of training. So um, they will also have to go out there and set up new companies. So right now when I'm riding in my car, coming to work and all that, and I see that the little, little spots of places who are doing nails, I'm proud. Unfortunately, I don't see uh, people giving me the thumbs up, but I, I'm, I'm, I am glad I have an opportunity today to say that I was the first person to, uh, to really expose and make a lot of noise about taking care of the nails, not only the artificial nails, of course, manicure, pedicure. I used to come on TV, breakfast show, and all that to demonstrate and also talk about uh, how to take care of, you know, your nails. At one time, I had over 25 people, but right now, obviously, business is not the same. I still have a lot of senior citizens coming to OPIC. Senior citizens meaning older clients, like I have clients ranging between uh, 40 to 80 years old. As I speak, I have one, she's my mom, really, she's not my mom, but I call her mama. She's doing her nails right now. She's almost 80 years old, if she's not 80 years old. So I have a lot of them who have really entrusted in me because I've been doing their nails for a long time. I have clients who, who've been coming here for over 20 years since I've been in existence. I've known her since she was a child. And her mother used to do my hair in the 60s. So I've known the family and I believe in them, I trust them. And I'm very particular about my nails, so I come here for the best results. I call it a success story. The business has always been ongoing and of course it has its challenges ups and downs but my vision has always remained focused and you know I'm happy to say that I wake up in the morning and I'm able to come to work. We provide uh, obviously total nail care that is natural nail care and then the artificial ones the manicures the pedicures the nail extensions and all that we provide. We provide pedicure we do reflexology, we do foot massages, we do body massage, waxing, bikini waxing, eyebrow waxing, hair, we do hair, we braid hair, everything pertaining beauty care we do. OPIC has also incorporated events. We do parties, we do weddings, and kids parties, funerals, name it. We do all that. 
as well. We have a, a restaurants on it and premises as well, so we do food as well. This man for Next Live has all you need to know about the international inclined journalist of Joy FM, Jefferson Saki, and that of Ghana's very own multi talented filmmaker, Ivan Kwashiga, who is behind Farmhouse House Production. Catch all these exclusives right here on Next Live. When I started this business, I didn't face much of a challenge in terms of setting up, but the challenge that I faced was. A lot of people did not know because I just wanted to focus on the nails. A lot of people did not know what it was about. They all, they, well, they knew about manicure and pedicure. But in terms of introducing these other uh, the, the acrylics, fiber glass, silk wrap, and all those things, a lot of people were not really conversant with it, and they were not very comfortable, you know, with it. So I focus, in fact, I turned my attention on my friends, my peers, and I would call them to come for me to try these new things on their nails. So it took, on, it took off from then. It was really by word of mouth. My business zoomed and boomed by word of mouth. And I always believe in that though. A word of mouth has kept my business going. I've also had to travel a lot because uh, my other family, like my children, they don't live here. So sometimes I have to break and go. And one thing in this country, in terms of uh, service, uh, businesses that render services, if you put your face to a business and unfortunately you, you travel abroad or you go away, if you don't have the right person to uh, stand in for you unfortunately you, you kind of lose uh, a lot of clients and basically I've, my feedback for having my business slow down sometimes and all that is due to the fact that my they tell me Evelyn you're not you know ne you're never here when we come you're not here and that we don't get the sort of satisfaction that we need because you're not here your workers are not giving us what's you give us when you're around so that is ha, that has actually been the challenge that i have had to face okay and i realize that when i'm around you know people come when i'm not around it's a little bit uh, so that's the little challenge that i've always had over the past 20 years in fact opic was 20 years last year so i'm proud to say that i've run this business successfully for 20 years and I'm still going. For the latter part of last year, I incorporated events into this business. So I've done, so far since last year till now, I've done about 15 successful events, the weddings, engagements, and, little, and private parties. And um, I kind of enjoy that, uh, that aspect of it. So I am expanding in a certain way. But I'm taking each day at a time. I'm not really, at this age, I don't think I want to stress myself too much. I believe uh, if you work hard, you also have to, you know, enjoy what you do. I like the way you motivate. Believe in what I do, so be cultivate. Am I making enough money? Goodness gracious. Right now, I can't say I'm making enough money. How much is enough? But. I'm gaining a lot of satisfaction in what I do. It, is, it was my hobby. It was something, it is something that I love doing. Okay, at my age right now, I can't say I'm still doing this myself. But when they are busy, I can just take the file and just do the nails. I, I gain satisfaction from what I'm doing. Leisure time, I believe in wellness. I strongly believe in wellness. And for you to look good and for you to feel good and for you to feel better, I believe that you have to take time aside for you. You always have to have a me time. And my me time is having my nails done, having my feet done, having a good massage, and you know, pampering myself. Also, I have incorporated a lot lately. I go out with my friends and you know, that sort of thing. So that's really what I do. I take time out now that um, I think I'm getting older. I take time now 
a day at a time and enjoy my time and myself. Kwabna, Kwabna, and Samini. Adult music. music. I That's love what? that music. Hey, I, I. Hey, I, I. Ooh. The first time I saw it, I was like, what? But then, you know, as I started listening and, and, and you know, watching the video, I think it's in comparison to what I do. And I believe in that. The life lesson I want to share with the young ones coming is that um, it took me a very, very long time for me to realize that in this world you can have all the jobs, you can have all the money, you can have everything that you want, but that will not give you a peace of mind. The peace of mind is finding who you are. How do you do that? Searching within yourself and ha knowing what your purpose on this life is all about. If you find what your purpose is all, is all about, if it means selling peanuts, uh, granuts, if it means frying um, kiliwili, whatever it, it is that you enjoy doing is your purpose. And with God's will and believing in your maker, incorporating it into yourself and your soul you will enjoy anything don't rush around because look at the end of the day the bottom line is fulfillment what fulfills you what makes you tick what makes you happy what is the bliss what gives you the bliss of life so young ones out there there's a lot. Yes, your world is full of challenges, it's competition, it's this and that. But always focus on yourself, yourself within yourself, the spirit that dwells within you, and how you can shed the light so that you can draw light to yourself. So that is the life lesson I want to share with you. Right now, I have found who I am. I'm enjoying what I'm doing, whether I'm busy at work or not. I enjoy the time that I have and you know and the fulfillment that it gives me big inspirations thank you huh?